Life is short, dream big. Hello my darlings, how are you today? I hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching. Today this video is about confidence and how to be confident, how to deal with criticism, how to deal with all that and how to be a high value woman. So if you want to know more, keep watching. But first just want to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, subscribe down below. Also click on the bell so you never miss any of my notifications. Also follow me on my Instagram, which is Ziza Hardstyle. So the first tip that I wanted to give you is don't settle for anything less than every Everything that you ever imagine your life to be even if people tell you otherwise even if people tell you that you can't do it your dream are too unrealistic or like if you have a person that is not supportive to you that doesn't respect your boundaries it's not good so don't settle for anything less than what a high value woman would do because you deserve to be treated well you deserve to have people that are supporting you and you deserve to live your dream and if people say you're unrealistic if people say no no what are you talking about if you want to become a billionaire if you want to become a youtuber if you want to become i don't know like anything if you want to become a homemaker if you want to become an astronaut if you want to become a ceo anything is possible in life and literally anything <laughs> we were going to the moon as human beings so <laughs> you think that just your dreams are not possible it's not true don't settle for anything less that you ever imagine your life to be next we have the most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself and i think it's a quote from sex in the city from the amazing carrie bradshaw and i think that becoming your own best friend is something so magical <laughs> because you're never alone you know that you're never alone <laughs> So treat time with yourself. When you are alone, treat time with yourself. Do things for you, do things for you for growing as an individual. So cultivate yourself, treat your body well, like do sport, eat well. Also like watching some documentaries, cultivating you, reading, and even doing hobbies that you enjoy. Treating your body, uh, I don't know, putting on creams and wearing beautiful dresses so that you feel good, you feel beautiful. For growing your confidence, it's important that you do things that you enjoy so important for me to do yoga guys feel so good when I do it and I love also putting on some beautiful dresses and just playing the princess in my bedroom so do anything that you love you're going to have a life that you enjoy you're going to grow your life and you're going to be more comfortable being alone you're going to be fine with being alone you're going to enjoy it even more I'm telling you <laughs> and when then when people come into your life they have to add more value to your life that is already amazing so you're going to be oh okay okay and my life is already amazing i'm having my yoga i love my outfits i love my my routine everything that i do i love my job i love my hobbies i love my family my friends so like you know you're going to add more into your life that is already good and and so then toxic people are not going to be in your life easily because it's already amazing so then you don't need them like, oh my God, I need this person. They complete me. No, no one is completing you besides you. Number three, as I said, there is a difference between wanting someone and needing someone. You don't need someone. Just want it. Want a nice gentleman. So as human beings, we are social creatures because we're pack animals. And it's completely normal to, for example, want a partner. It's completely normal for seek for love. Seek for love even not only from a partner, but from friends, from family, from other people. But as I said earlier, you need to be fine by being alone by yourself. You need to be fine in your own life before seeking for other people to come into your life. So for example, as I said, you don't need a man. You can just want a man. That's fine to want a man. You don't need him. You don't need him. You don't need a man to be confident. You don't need a man to validate who you are. I think that confidence comes from you, from yourself as an individual alone. It's inside yourself. It's there. So you need to, you need to cultivate your life. You need to have a good life before seeking for other people. A man is like a nice dessert. You don't need it, but you want it. You want it. But you don't need it it's like luxury like a beautiful chanel bag you want it but you don't need it okay so next tip for confidence is like fake it till you make it it's one of the best key it's 
fake it till you make it it's something that i did when i was younger and i think that in high school and things like this when we're when we are a teenager no one is confident they're faking it no one is confident as a teenager because we are growing we're trying to grow as an adult and no one is born with it so you have to practice it like any skills you have to practice it to until you master the art of confidence and until it's going to become natural at the end also make things that you're afraid of for example, for my case, it was like making a speech in front of people, making a speech in front of a lot of people. It's very scary for most of people, you know? And if you haven't done it, if you haven't already done it, it's really scary. And the more you practice, the more you do it, the more it's going to become natural and the more it's going to become a habit and the more you are going to anticipate anything that's going to go wrong. So at the end of the day, it is going to be just something not that deep something not that scary also understand that a lot of people has their issue a lot of people are dealing with things and no one is truly a hundred percent confident i think no one is everyone is dealing with lack of confidence even the most confident people that you would never imagine like beyonce i don't know <laughs> or the victoria secret model they are actually pretty insecure so most people are afraid of criticism. It's actually part of human nature. We're not robots. We have feelings. So so don't worry about it. It's not that deep. If in your confident journey, you have certain time when you don't feel that confident, it's completely normal. You can feel confident about certain things and not feel confident about other things. For example, I love to dance and I dance since I am very young. So I'm pretty confident about dancing because I know it, I know how to dance and everything, but I'm certainly not confident about singing. This is, I'm really bad at singing. Also accept to relax and laugh about yourself. I also accept it to laugh about myself. Just relax and be like, this is not that deep. Life is not even that serious, you know? Also, another tip would be don't do things to impress people, but genuinely because you like it. And that because it makes you happy, life is short after all, do things because you like it, not to impress other people. I know that social inclusion is really, really powerful and really, really deep as a human being. But genuinely, at the end of the day, uh, everyone is just focused on themselves. <laughs> I just noticed that. And so do things because you like it. Do things because you enjoy it. Life is short. If you love beautiful dresses, wear beautiful dresses. If you love to do, uh, if you love to cook, if you love to do gardening, if you love things, do it. It's going to make you grow as an adult, as a confident adult, and you will have things that you like you and not for other people. You know, you don't have to like the exact same thing as your friends. You don't have to like the exact same things as your boyfriend. You don't have to like sport or football or anything to just make him attracted to you. You just have to be yourself. Grow as a confident woman by just being yourself and enjoying the things that you love. So my last tip would be you can't please everyone and it's about dealing with criticism so it's about accepting your own decisions and it's about being cool and relaxed with your own decisions if you liked it at that time then that's that's all that matters you know like for example in high school uh, when I was in high school I was dressing a certain way I was dressing certain I was always very feminine but certain time I was like okay what are you wearing Lisa <laughs> And this is kind of normal. I didn't have the knowledge that I have now about fashion, about style, about body shape, about everything. I don't have to be ashamed of that. You know, I don't have to be ashamed of it. And at that time, I liked it. So that's all that matters. At that time, I was happy. That's all that matters. So if you have like dealing with anxious things about your past, about your past decisions, things like this, Really let the past be the past and focus on the future. Focus on who you are now because what you did in the past and what you were in the past made you who you are now. So be happy with your decisions. And criticism is just noise. It's just noise. Don't listen to it. So also think that people have their own issue and, and that's why maybe they're criticizing you. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they're not okay with their life. We have to just try our best to just deal with it and just let it go.
Also, appreciate your body, ladies. Appreciate your body. Your body is art. Appreciate it and decide that your body is art. Decide that you see your body as a piece of art and it's going to be a piece of art. Decide that you're confident, you will be confident. Look at your body as like beautiful and an amazing painting and as the function that it does for you. It's healthy, it's beautiful. You're beautiful. So that's it for this video, my darlings. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped you on how to be more relaxed with yourself, how to be more confident. Don't be too harsh on yourself, really. Just, just be relaxed and just enjoy. Laugh. Laugh. I think laughing is so important. So put in a piece out of friends. I don't know. <laughs> And enjoy, like, the, the weather is kind of nice today. I don't know about you, but tell me more in the comments about how you feel your confidence journey, how you feel about everything. And if you want to see more of my video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, click on the bell so you never miss any of my notifications. Also, follow me on my Instagram, which is Lisa Heart Style. Until next time, take care of you, and I'm giving you so much kisses. Mwah. Goodbye.